Parallax is the displacement or difference in the apparent position of an object viewed along two different lines of sight. In this drawing, the upper viewer sees object A as below object B. The lower viewer sees object A above B. Parallax can be useful. For example, the different apparent position of objects relative to each other as seen by our eyes gives us stereoscopic vision, the ability to perceive depth. Each eye sees a slightly different view, which the brain combines into a single three-dimensional image. Rangefinders also use parallax. But parallax can cause errors when measuring the image on an oscilloscope screen. The graticule of an oscilloscope is a grid, or ruler, used to make measurements of the trace. Older oscilloscopes had a graticule whose ruled grooves were on a piece of plastic separated from the trace on the phosphor screen by the thickness of the CRT faceplate, sometimes as much as three-eighths of an inch. This caused measurement errors unless the image was viewed straight on. Even then, the slight angle between the top and bottom or left and right sides of the screen could cause errors. In this illustration, the viewer looking at the screen straight on sees the beam align with the graticule mark. But the, v the viewer at a different angle, the graticule mark no longer aligns with the trace. Some space is shown between the graticule and CRT faceplate for clarity. This space would normally be as small as possible to minimize but not eliminate the parallax error. This video shows the effect on an older oscilloscope. Notice the camera moves up and down and left and right. The trace appears to move relative to the graticule marks. Newer CRTs had internal graticules on the phosphor layer, so they have no parallax. Note that as the camera moves, the trace does not move relative to the graticule. But before internal graticules were introduced around 1962, parallax in oscilloscope displays was a problem and a source of customer complaints. Bob Anderson, who did most of the development of the Direct View Storage CRT at Tech, which led to Tech dominating the computer graphics market in the 1970s, invented the virtual graticule, which addresses the parallax problem. Instead of a single piece of plastic with the graticule on the side nearest the CRT, the virtual graticule is made from several layers. One layer has the graticule grooves. The layer closest to the CRT faceplate is a half-silvered mirror which reflects some light and lets the remainder pass through. A viewer looking through the assembly sees the trace on the phosphor layer as well as a reflection or virtual image of the graticule grooves. The graticule grooves on the outside front were filled with black and white material to make the outside front image of the graticule less visible, but enhance the inside back image, which is the one visible in the mirror reflection. Like conventional graticules, this one is edge lit to make the physical grooves visible. If D1, the distance between the physical grooves and the half silvered layer is the same as D2, the distance from the half silvered layer to the phosphor plane, the images of the graticule grooves and the trace will always align regardless of the viewing angle. As can be seen here, the camera moves, but the position of the trace relative to the virtual image does not move. At some angles, the physical graticule in front is visible, so the effect is not perfect. Anderson made several samples of the virtual graticule, but a sample that was shown to tech management was made by someone else and not of high quality, so management decided not to pursue the project. Although it was never used in a product, Anderson's graticule was used inside tech for some time but eventually it was obsoleted when internal graticule technology was developed. 